Hi, Candy Flames here today with another Yankee Candle chit chat and review and today we are talking about a returning favourite almond cookie. So welcome back if you've been here before and if you're new to my channel then welcome, pleased to have you here. Hope you've had a good week, whatever you've been doing and um, I'll jump straight into Yankee Candle's description. So we have still warm from the oven, rich almond scents and buttery vanilla, vanilla notes create an irresistibly luscious treat. So confession time, I have not cooked these cookies. They are not almond cookies. The co-op have cooked these and they are oat and raisin. I couldn't find any almond cookies, so I've just sprinkled some almonds on top and it's just gonna have to do, so hopefully it looks okay. So I'm gonna jump straight in with the notes. So we have the top notes of sliced almonds, sugar cookie, whipped butter, mid notes of cinnamon sugar, coconut milk, soft marzipan, nutmeg, and the base of cedar wood, vanilla extract, musk, tonka bean, and rich maple. So yeah, quite a few notes going along there. Um, let's go on to the looks of this candle first. So we have like this sort of cookie, almondy color wax, and a beautiful label there of these lovely looking almond cookies, which like I say, look nothing like mine, um, but they look delicious. So yeah, again, like I've always said, Yankee Candle always seem to get the wax color and the label right. Well, nearly always, and they have done it again on here, all blends well. So the top notes, um, oh, it's difficult for me with this candle, I'm gonna say straight away, I've got mixed feelings about this. So on a cold sniff, very strong with almonds, very, very strong, really hits me. And I have to say there's almost like an artificial smell to this. Um, I do know, and I didn't own, but I do know that the original of this was very, very good on the throw and delicious. And hence why it's been voted back to be a returning favorite. But I have heard that this one compared to the original has nowhere near the throw and the scent is a little off. So if you have owned the original and now you have this, I'd really be interested to see in the comments what you think. So going back to it, um, I on a cold sniff, I do get the almonds there and there is a slight sweetness, which would either be that the sugar um, or the vanilla, the tonka bean, um, I can get that sort of mapley vibe that's there. Cedarwood, no, I, I'm just not getting none of that. I'm a big fan of cedarwood actually, but I'm not picking that up. Um, obviously I can smell the marzipan though, and I do get the cinnamon because every now and again with this, when it is lit, I get that you know whiff of cinnamon and it reminds me of Christmas because I just associate cinnamon with Christmas anyway. So um, I do detect that. What I have to say is like when this candle is lit, it is very light. So on a throw, we are probably talking about a four out of 10 here. It's um, not very good compared to the original. So I have to say, I'm not sure whether I would like it any stronger because I'm not really a fan of this one, to be honest. I think the reason for me why, I love almonds, don't get me wrong, but it's probably not something I really want to smell like coconut. I love the smell of coconut, you know, strawberries. I love that. I, I do like almonds, but I'm not sure whether it's a smell that I want to have filling my living room, if you know what I mean. Um, and this, for me, like I keep saying, it's got an artificial note. Um, I've read in the reviews that some people, quite a few are referring this to like a plasticky smell. Um, for me, I have to say, I, I get reminded of Play-Doh. That's all I can say. So I don't mean to be down on this candle and, you know, but I'm just giving you my honest reviews here. So if you like it, I apologize. We're all different. And I sometimes like it in the comments, candles I don't like. People say, oh, I love this one. You know, I like all that. We're not all the same. But no, for me, this is a no. It's, it's artificial. There's like a Play-Doh note going through there. It's too light. Um, it is a warm smell and it is maybe inviting and what I would say is that if you are an almond fan and you love the smell of almonds you love the smell of marzipan then this is 
you know, going to be right up your street. But don't expect it to be good on the throw. It is very light. Um, I can also understand why some people have said, like I say, that it's associated with Christmas. For me personally, that's the cinnamon smell. But also like uh, marzipan. Some people, you know, associate marzipan with Christmas and everything. So I do get that vibe. I think this would be work great in a kitchen, a dining room. Um, it's a pity that it's not a little bit stronger so that I could perhaps judge it a little bit more. But um, yeah, a very mixed one for me. I have to say that personally, I won't be repurchasing this one. But on a cold sniff, I've had a couple of friends and some family members who have um, smelt this. I said, you know, have a quick smell of this when they come round. And they've all loved it. They're all like, wow, God, that smells delicious. It's amazing. You know, all of them really liked it. Whereas for me on a cold sniff, I was just like, there's just something really artificial about it. And it is too strong. It's one of them ones that you smell and woof, you know, really sort of, it's a bit too much for me. But it's not like that when it's lit. Like I say, definitely a four out of 10 throw. And, um... I don't really know what else to say about this one. I'm a bit disappointed with it. I love the cookie scents. You know, I've got Christmas cookie, snowflake cookie, etc. And I'm really into my foodie candles. Whenever I see a candle and it's of the food one, I'm, you know, oh yeah, that's going to be for me. But with this one, no. Um, and like I say, I do like marzipan and everything like that. I just find this one a bit too light, a bit too artificial. And there's something in it that isn't mixing so usually i when i review these candles i'll say to you that it's all blended really well and it all comes together well and i feel that you know all the scents complement each other but i'm not getting that with this there's something in it that isn't right it's like no they just should not have put that note in and i don't know what it is and what's not working but for me that's how i feel that something in it is not working and that the candle overall is not getting a nice blended coming together vibe it's not for me it's mis mismatchy and just not right so i'm really sorry if you like this one but please leave me the comments so i can see down below what you think um but yeah that's it the family i have asked my husband what he thinks of it and he said not much because he couldn't really smell it um but on a cold sniff everybody loved it apart from me but everyone else did love it but when it is lit it is quite light light and delicate and if you like almonds and marzipan and you're not looking for a scent that is going to knock your socks off you're just looking for a light background scent then this might be perfect for you i mean i'm sat now what you know about half a meter away from this candle now and i can't smell it so it's not great but sometimes you know when they have been light i have got down the jar and i find that all of a sudden i find them to be stronger i have had that with yankee candles before where i don't find them to be even and you know consistent all throughout the burn so you never know i might get halfway down this and it might come alive a bit but not at the moment so that's it on this one i'm afraid next week what do i have next week oh i have cherries on snow next week another returning favorite looking forward to doing that one so it feels a bit more Christmassy um, and then the week after that I'm doing Halloween which as you all know we haven't got nothing new for the UK for Halloween so I will be reviewing an old one but one of my all-time favorite Yankee candles so I'm looking forward to doing that and then I will continue with uh, what's the other one I'm missing out of this returning for oh the, the North Pole and then we will be going into the Christmas countdown, which I'm really excited about. Love my Christmas candles, favourite. So yeah, I'm looking really forward to that. So yeah, leave me um, comments. I'm really interested to know if you've owned the original and now you've bought this one as a returning favourite to see, you know, what the differences are. So please comment down below and let me know. And yeah, sorry, wasn't really a good one. But anyway, I hope you have a really, really good week and I will be back next week with Cherries on Snow. So 